Okay, in this lecture, guys, we're going to be talking about information overload. Okay, I know we talked a little bit about the shiny red ball syndrome, but this is uh, three more things I'm going to talk to you about that can actually kill your muscle gain. So let's get started. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is the ripped bodybuilder in magazines or on YouTube is actually clueless. These people are actually clueless. A lot of these people you see on YouTube, not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay. Um, here's the problem. The internet has no gatekeepers. Anyone with an internet connection, heartbeat, and a set of abs can become an expert overnight. It's no mystery that many of the top pro bodybuilders and fitness models have the worst technique in the world. When they train the way they do or how to improve from year to year is as much as a mystery to them as it is to us, me, and the rest of the world, okay? This is why you see so many bodybuilders achieve their genetic potential very young and then disappear off the face of the planet. Many of the top bodybuilders show up year after year looking exactly the same, never improving weaknesses or putting on any muscle at all. The only variance is whether they were able to not cheat on their diet this year and get into the great shape or not. As for the fitness models, when was the last time you saw them overnight or out of shape? Never. Why? Most of them had shredded abs before the doctor separated them from the umbilical cord. All right. Now, the next thing I want to talk about that will really affect your gains is too many chefs in the kitchen. Okay, taking advice from too many fitness experts at once is a recipe for mediocrity. All right, you fail to stay focused on one thing and consistently second guess yourself without being a hundred percent certain in what you're doing. You'll fail to put out a hundred percent effort. So that's key, guys. Just you know, make sure to focus on one person at a time. It's good to get some ideas from different areas, but you really want to narrow it down. That way you don't get really confused. Okay. The third thing I want to talk about is learning less and less about more and more. Okay. And what is it? What do I mean by that? If all you're looking for is some for, for some tips, you don't need me. Okay. Heck, you don't even need anybody. Go to Google and type in muscle building tips. And within 0.23 seconds, you'll have about 12 million search results. Okay. But let me warn you, have fun trying to organize all those tips into one logical balance and progressive plan. Okay. The true definition of learning is behavioral change. If you don't have anything to show for the muscle building tips, by definition, you haven't learned anything at all, okay? You just gained a little bit of head knowledge. The key to learning is focusing only on the very next step. So I really wanted to cover this, guys, because it's just so vital and important. You know, a lot of these YouTube people, a lot of these ripped bodybuilders, you know, having too many chefs in the kitchen and, you know, actually learning less is actually more. When you combine all those things, you're going to be on track to make the kind of muscle gains that you really, really want. Okay, so that's it for this lecture, guys, and I will see you in the next one.